Hello, I'm Dr. Ron England here, and we're going to talk about AJAX controls here. And specifically, this lecture is going to deal with the container controls. And container controls are things that contain other things. So for an example here, I'm going to show you the accordion. Okay, now the accordion is if I click on pane 2 here, pane 2 expands out, and pane 1 collapses. If I click on pane 1, pane 1 expands, and pane 2 collapses. That's the typical um, behavior of recording control. And I got a couple other things I did here, like if you click like this, it changes it so button one is pressed. Can't press button two, but if I go like this and click button two, it's going to say button two pressed. And this actual button is outside the panel. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's look at how this is actually done here. Okay, first, um, this is an AJAX control, and to use this, you're going to have to actually you know, set up AJAX control toolkit um, in your project. This is a .NET project. And I've got a lecture on that, so I'm not going to cover it. And then I want to go to the web config here, where I'm going to show you something. Now, one of the things that I have in my um, web.config in here is I have set up the, um, right there, underneath controls, I have the tag prefix AJAX control toolkit with the assembly and the namespace. So I have the link to the assembly here in the web config. And that saves me a little bit of hassle of having to do that all over the place when I'm using these controls. So um, the code itself is relatively simple. I can look at it in design mode, or I can look at it in source mode. But if we look at this, so I have set up um, in here. Um, inside here, I've got a little div here to make the thing appear to the left of the left and hand side of the page, where I just set the margin left. I just do that to make it look pretty. And then I have a label. That was what you saw when the uh, buttons were pressed. That was just simply there so that you could have those labels. And then I actually have an Ajax Toolkit accordion. Remember, my tag prefix was Ajax Toolkit, and I set up an accordion with an ID, and it runs its server. Now, here's where it gets to the important stuff. Inside of an Ajax, inside of an accordion, um, you actually have panes. So you have the next thing you would have here would be panes. Panes starts here, ends here, and inside those panes, I actually have panes. Yes, um, not like panes that hurt, but panes that would be accordion panes. So I have Ajax Toolkit Accordion Pane. Okay, I have an ID, a run out, and I have two things here, a header and a content. Header, content. And inside that content, I had some text, and inside that content, I had the button. I have the second one, which is right here. It has a header and some content. So when you're setting up your Ajax Toolkit to have an accordion, you use the accordion control, which you can drag and drop on there. Um, you may or may not get the automated IntelliSense to use to give you the panes in the accordion pane, not really a problem because I usually type them out by hand anyway. I have in this case two panes. Each pane has a header and some content and you get the behavior that you've seen right here with the collapsible panes. Now you can make the behavior change. Those are just options within there and in that case it's just simply looking at the documentation to do all the different ways that you can mess with uh, on an accordion panel. Really the bottom line here is to show you in the Ajax Control Toolkit, you have this concept of an accordion pane, these collapsible accordions here with buttons and other controls that you can have on each of them. And it's a great way to manage real estate within your project. Now, uh, I've got a second one here that I'm going to show you, which is also a container-based, um, um, another one, it's a container-based uh, control called a tab dialog. Um, in this case, whoops, let me find it here. I'm going to go ahead and stop and then just bring it back up on this control. So now I've got this second one called Edit Tab Dialog, and I'm going to bring this back over here. And this is a great way also to control um, real estate on your screen with tab panels. I have a tab panel one and a tab panel two. And notice when you click back and forth, it just goes back and forth between the two. I did not put buttons on this one. I think the example with the accordion was enough to show you how to do this. But let's look and see how this works. All right, let's go over here and same thing. Remember in the web config, I have the reference to Ajax Toolkit um, being the, uh, the tag header, Ajax Toolkit, and I put a tab container there. Notice tab container starts and the tab container stops. Okay, in this case, uh, it has an ID and also run at server. And inside of the Ajax, uh, inside the tab container, you have tab panels. Here's a tab panel. It has an ID, a header text, and I have the run at server. 
Okay, and inside of that I have a content template. There's actually more things you can do here, but I wanted to duplicate the functionality but show it a little bit differently way of doing it than the accordion pane. In this case, the content template, and I can throw whatever I want to inside of this content template, all the stuff that I want to have there. And in this case, I have one tab panel and a second tab panel, each with its own content template that can be in here. By the way, this is also a great place for you to use user controls. I like to drop user controls inside of these. But the real reason to use these AJAX controls isn't just for some fancy little footwork here. It's really to be able to have an um, effective way to manage your user interface when you have limited real estate on your screen. So the tab panel gives you ability to have quite a bit more real estate. Now in this case I have the tab panels across the top, but uh, there's all sorts of other options that you will find if you start using the tab container and the tab panels here. And really this is just a bottom line of getting you up and running in the AJAX control toolkit with um, an accordion and with a tab panel and tab container so that you can manage your real estate on your screens effectively and be able to have um, it work very, very um, seamlessly and intuitively for the end user. Uh, hopefully this is going to get enough to get you up and running with these two controls. I'll have some lectures on all the other AJAX control toolkit, uh, also things like extenders and those other great things. But right now, we're doing the container controls. Good programming. Thanks very much.